Yo, what's up? Today we're doing the Easy Pilot Pro FPV drone, baby! I'm just kidding, guys. I already unboxed it. You know, you've seen a million unboxing videos. You get batteries, you get a bunch of shit, you get this, you get that, you get some props, you get this beautiful masterpiece of a, of a sorry, bumping stuff. Of this guy right here. Uh, the one thing I want to tell you about this is I definitely had to put it out to the max. Um, it does have like this rubber grommet inside. So I had to kind of pull it. I wasn't sure how far it went out, but this is definitely the max. I definitely had to max it out. You definitely have to get used to it because it does cause eye strain. Um, but after you get used to it, the eye strain starts going away. Uh, you're definitely going to be upgrading this bad boy first. Because, like, I thought it was going to be 800 and something by 440 or whatever. But it's not. It turns out this one's, like, 400 and something by, like, 300 and something. So it's a pretty bad picture. Um... Let's fly this bitch, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't wait to put these stickers on my new headset. I'm getting another cheap one that's just 800 by 480 or whatever. Um, but it's gonna it's twice as good as this one. Um, I'll do a review on that and show you. But the main thing I wanted to show off is the drone. And I'm a new pilot. I have like never flown. A, I bought like a cheap crappy one and whatever. I've been flying this one in acro mode. So let's just get to that, okay? Let's do it. Um, first time drone pilot, <laughs> acro mode, let's go. Oh my god, I love this thing. A uh, couple things first. Uh, so I took this apart. There's just the four little screws. You gotta have a really tiny screwdriver. And then I pulled the antennas out to help reception. 
This one had black plastic all over it, so I just took the black plastic off. Um, there's a video on how much you need to measure or whatever. Um, but I just turned the black plastic off because uh, you get what you get as far as length. If it's too long, then um, look up how long your uh, linear antenna should be for your tiny whoop. <clears throat> Anyways, do I love this thing? Yes. Uh, one thing I do recommend if you get this kit is batteries. I bought a four pack of batteries, so that gives me five batteries. <laughs> I suggest you get a second charger and at least eight batteries. Um, I just ordered some new 540 uh, MA batteries, I think they're 540s. Uh, just a little bigger, it's supposed to be like the same size battery, uh, a little heavier and whatnot. Um, hopefully those do good. I'll do a review on those if they do good. Um, probably going to change the ends up because everyone says the new ends are better and blah blah blah. So that'll be easy to do. I'm probably just going to swap all the ends out when I order new batteries. And um, video signal on this, if you do this, um, I've had no problems. I can go pretty much to my front yard. I am going to get some better antennas though, of course, um, with the new headset. Um, this thing, it, it, it'll, it'll roll. It, <laughs> As you can see in the video, barely, um, hopefully I have better footage next time, it, that like, it does feel weighty, it does feel really weighty, like when you just let go it'll fall real fast and it feels really weighty. Um, I do have one prop that keeps falling off, I've lost one of them so I had to replace it with the, one of the newer ones and I believe it's still the same one that keeps falling off so one of the motors might be a little small or something, I don't know. Um, but they include extra props, so that's great. Um, it will flip, it will roll. It, make sure you get a little height when you do it, because you know you gotta come back up out of that. Um, I spent maybe two hours in the sim altogether, plus I've flown 15 packs, um, and that's how good I am. You know, I can st I can barely drive it. <laughs> you know, I, I you know turning still hard, just keeping it level is still hard, all that stuff. Um, and every now and again, I could throw a roll out and come out of it and still fly, but then I'm hauling ass. Um, it's so much fun. It really is. It's super fun uh, and enjoyable to do. Uh, so hit that like button. Uh, this is it's great. I enjoy the heck out of it. I cannot wait to. See see how good I can progress. Um, just going from not even being able to fly this thing to actually being able to circle around a tree gave me so much gratification and I felt so good afterwards. Just being able to do that, literally just being able to fly around a tree and come back to my porch. I was like, oh, I'm the best at everything. It was just so great. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Um, and if you get one of these, man, I can't wait. It, you, you're going to love it. You should, there's nothing wrong with this this drone that it comes with. It's, it's super good. I love the heck out of it. For a starter kit, like I said, I'm going to upgrade the goggles. And the remote you get can work with other stuff. That's one reason why I bought this kit. Uh, so I have a remote, so I can upgrade drone, I can upgrade goggles. I still got a good remote. The remote's good. The remote does plug in. Like I said, I was playing... Um, uh, simulators, uh, what simulators do I got? I got Tiny Whoop Go, that's a fun one, it's free. Uh, you just give them your email, they send you a link. Uh, I've had no problems with it, it worked good. And then there's also, there's this other one, Real Drone Simulator, also, um, just type that in there, Real Drone Simulator. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, RDS, um, I guess, Real Drone Simulator, RDS. They got logos. Uh, can I pop up a logo? Errors. That's not a logo. <laughs> oh, that's logs. <laughs> I can't read. Uh, anyways, um, that's the two I used, and I absolutely suck at them, and I'm complete garbage, and I spent half the time crashing. At least half the time crashing. Well, yeah, about half the time crashing, probably. Uh, uh, tip. Tip number one. Uh, I didn't know it at the time. Let me just grab the remote and give you this tip so you can fly better than me. <laughs> uh, I was watching a bunch of videos and when you're turning, you're supposed to use both to turn at the same time. I found myself favoring this one and then trying to go like this a lot in the beginning, which was just horrible. So apparently you just try to use both when you're turning. And then down too actually helps. You'll figure it out. But like I said, the best piece of advice I can give you is when you're turning, 
use both and you'll turn a little harder, a little better. <clears throat> Anyways, that's it. Peace out, guys. Rock on. Enjoy your drums. Bye.